Steve Torano here with Ask a Real Expert. Edgar wants to know if I can give him some tips on contest dieting or contest training. Absolutely. I'll give you three. When guys get closer to a contest, they begin to lighten their workout so they can speed it up, so they can do more reps and increase their heart rate and run through their workout faster, thinking they're going to burn more calories. As a matter of fact, people just do this in general, and that is very, very inaccurate. When you are weight training, whether you're lifting slow, whether you're lifting fast, whether you're lifting lightweight for lots of reps, you are anaerobic. And anaerobic means you are exercising without oxygen present and therefore your primary fuel is sugar. So you are burning calories, but you're not burning any fat calories and you're not burning any more calories than had you lifted slower. And this is very critical because as you've trained all this time, you've trained for let's say 10 months to get as big and bulky as possible, you don't want to lighten your workout up in the last two months of the year because you don't need big muscles to lift light weight for lots of reps. So once you begin to change your routine and lighten the weight and do lots of reps, now your body says, well, I don't need these big muscles because this guy's doing, you know, a fast workout with light weight. So you begin to lose size, not what you want to do when you're getting ready for a show. Second thing that guys do is they cut out carbohydrates. Big mistake. They're thinking, hey, if I get rid of the carbs and keep the protein, I'll preserve my muscle while still losing weight. You will lose weight, but you will lose a lot of muscle mass and you'll lose a lot of energy. Because remember, by eating carbohydrates, you preserve your protein. Carbohydrates are the fuel that fuels your body. If they fuel your body to work out, and they also fuel your body to make your body utilize protein to build your muscles. And what people don't understand is without carbohydrates, your body then utilizes protein as an energy source. And the problem is, doesn't matter how much protein you eat, your body will not utilize that protein effectively. And it also needs the carbohydrates as an energy source to make your body use that protein to repair your muscles. So again, they cut out carbohydrates, big mistake. Along that lines, guys also carb deplete, thinking that when they carb load before the show, they'll blow up and look fuller. That's not accurate either. Number one, you've lost so much muscle from that carb depletion, it's not going to make a darn bit of difference. And every real biochemist knows that you don't deplete the muscle and then fill it up. You just eat more carbohydrates and it fills up with additional glycogen anyway. So you don't get a rebound effect of by decreasing your glycogen and then eating more and it fills up more. It doesn't work that way. You just have to eat more carbohydrates or carb load and your muscles will fill up with additional sugar anyway. So again, no need to deplete. Just eat more carbs. And then the third or the fourth thing that guys typically do is they take too many diuretics for too long a period of time prior to a show. And you got to remember, there's a lot of water and muscle. And if you're taking a diuretic for a week or two ahead of time, you are going to deplete your body of fluids that are needed, especially in the muscle. Alrighty? I'm Steve Torano. You got a question? Shoot me an email and I'll make you a video. Train hard, train smart.